Hello guys, Wild Trekker here, and welcome back to another episode of Skyblock. Hey, we are back, and as you can see behind me, ooh, and a tree grew. Uh, we've made some progress from uh, last time, so uh, let's just very carefully jump off here. Um, yeah, so I've kind of um, been working on. We did the farms last time, so I've, I've finished uh, a few of these out and named them up. So we got the sugarcane farm there that's working really well. We've also got the uh, melon farm and the pumpkin farm here, which are reaping rewards. As you can see, my food, yum 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 yum, yummy melons now, not a problem. So uh, and we've got loads in the chest down below, and we're getting pumpkins. So. Yeah, that's really cool, which means we've got a few more achievements to get as well. So uh, this is ready to make a wheat farm. Um, so that's where my wheat farm's going to go, but we can't do that until we get some bone meal to bone meal the grass, get some seeds and grow some wheat. So uh, that's one thing we've got to do. Um, but I've started to think about, uh, I need to build a house at some point. So what I figured is this is going to be my house up here. So I'm going to build a house up here which very carefully is going to overlook my gardens and overlook the sort of where the, the rest of the uh, this whole museum is going to be and up here um i think we're probably going to have our little lake because we've got to have a little lake as well i think we've got to build at some point so that's something we're going to kind of build out here next to the house i think so that'll be really good. Let's just, uh, as you can see, pumpkins are growing. Things like that are all growing. So that's really good. Move the um, tree farm up here. So what do you think? I think it looks pretty good. We've got uh, beech trees over here and normal oak trees over there. But it means they can just grow and sit there if they want and look pretty. Um, otherwise, they'll just grow and, and look good. So, And I've made this kind of you know, mob spawn proof. We're going to probably use jack-o'-lanterns at some point. Uh, I've started putting these fences around as well to stop me falling off the edge where we need to. So, um, yeah, and it's raining. So that's where we're at there. So let's just come down. As you can see, uh, we've still got this area down below, the basement area, and we're going to be working on that today. So, um, but let's just have a look because we've probably got some achievements to do so we can get 10 pumpkins and 10 torches um, we can make those into jack-o'-lanterns and as you already see here 50 beach logs that is one of the um, targets achievements challenges if you like so we are going to put the 50 birch logs up in there and then we're going to craft ourselves 10 jack-o'-lanterns and that means we've now got uh, 10 of those to go up there as well so that's another challenge completed uh we've got a few 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 things if i can get my uh, teeth in the right way so let's just get rid of this oak wood a minute um because something we do need to do is make some trapdoors so we've got to make 10 so uh i guess just five lots of these is all we really need isn't it so uh three four five and we'll probably need some more trapdoors later but that'll do for now so there's another achievement 10 trapdoors um the other thing we need is wooden pressure plates um now i believe wooden pressure plates are only like that aren't they yeah so that's fine um seven eight nine ten of those i believe we've got to get let me just check my notes um so uh, in fact is it wooden yeah wooden pressure plates we've got to get we've got to get stone ones as well so um 10 wooden ones let's see if we've got 20 stone bricks hanging around we have so uh let's go two more of those put those back and way too many again my crafting is not working very well today so there we go 10 pressure plates of each so 10 stone pressure plates and 10 wooden pressure plates so that's a good load of uh, challenges we've got there we've got the trap doors we've got the pressure plates we've got the birch logs we've got the jack-o'-lanterns so uh yeah some good challenges already in this episode um what i want to do though is start building this platform here so um and unfortunately uh I died while doing this. Um, I don't think we haven't got that on the server, so you can't see. Um, but yeah, so this is um, 24 gap here. So what I want to do is is basically make a platform here for spawning some uh, 
spawning some mobs on. So let's go and get some uh, materials. And when I've got those, I'll meet you back over there. Right, so we've got the materials we need. So um just got to be careful I don't fall off here because it was... um yeah, a bit of a, a pain last time. I was just trying to build this. I was shifting and I just literally fell off. So um, what I want to do is build some pads. And I'll probably, what I'll, what I'll do for now is do a temporary mob farm for a moment. And then we'll build a proper one. Um, more sort of sky mob farm where we can get absolutely everything. For now, I just want to get mob spawning. It'll be a challenge. And hopefully we can get some bones. Um, that's something I would like to get is some bones um, and also I'd like to get some string um, that would be quite good so spiders are something I'm definitely after so definitely holding shift and I'm having to ask myself that every single time now because I literally you know my second death on here isn't good um, especially when I didn't really lose anything vital nothing that couldn't be replaced by you know i i had stacks of this stone stuff on me i had to go you know get some more cobblestone and whatever you so um yeah it wasn't uh it's just more time consuming than anything if you die which is just a it's just a bit of a pain isn't it so uh let's build out one more so what i need to do is we'll build this just as a base for a minute so i can work out where we're going to have things spawning so Normally, I would do a 3x3 three three area, and then, yeah, so if we have, and then we'd have channels for things to sort of float down um, and walk off. So, because it's less than 34, they will move around, and that's quite good. So, what I probably really want to do is just have a channel down the middle here that they can drop down so let's just block that off let's call that our channel area in that case um, we're just gonna have spawning pads each side so we'll do it like this and we want at least a three by three so let's put this down here and probably slightly more um, and then we probably need this as the wall don't we so let's use this different stone on for the wall just so I can tell the difference I might lose that torch yeah so this is going to be the wall going round so that one probably ought to be pretty and look like a wall so uh, yeah so we've got a three area by four that will probably do so let's um, just build this around. I'm going to press shift again. So worried about falling off. And we'll do that to high. But we need to have this um, too high in the middle as well. Because what we don't want is this. Uh, it's when they fall off here that they get back up again so let's just go down here and see how that looks yeah okay I'm happy with that um, what we probably need to do let's have a, a ring of stone just to break it up and then we'll probably use these bricks again so there comes a tricky bit I'm gonna jump up here and it's coming night time but I'm here that's plenty lit up over there so I don't think any mobs are going to spawn over there um, I really ought to jump up but I don't want to right um, so let's just put some torches in here a minute <coughs> cool um, so if they spawn on here I'm not worried about endermen at the moment so we'll just literally roof this off I think at this point I think that's all we really need to do and I'm going to jump down so if that's the roof so two high mobs so skeletons zombies witches and all that can spawn in here I will get some trap doors so they'll walk over this gap drop into a water source so we probably want the water source um, in this bit here so let's uh, let's do that and again let's just make this slightly different looking 
Okay, so that means that's got to go, but we'll put up a torch behind it. And then we're going to have to build out from out here. So let's just make this secure. What I don't want... Oh, I'm going to have to half slab the top, aren't I? Otherwise I'll be jumping, form, forming on the roof. So I'll have to get some half slabs. Oh, I've got some brick half slabs on me. That'll probably do the job. Um, I can go there. I can go there. And I'm probably going over the top to what I need, but I do just want to um, do it as properly as I can. And one more. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we don't really need all of this as it is. Um, and we're only actually going to use that there. So that's just another spawning pad that can be used, uh, which is absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, so that's how that's going to go. Let's get these half slabs. I've got 19 of those at the moment, so we'll uh, use those for a second up on the roof. So nothing can spawn up here, because it would otherwise, and that might be a problem. So what I'll do, now we've got this one side done, is I will basically mirror that um, on the other side. Get some more half slabs as well. So I'll stick that one up there for now. And there. Right, I'm going to get some more half slabs. I'll finish off this side um, so that's all uh, in place. And then I will duplicate this on the other side. So what we've done there, I'll make another spawning area. I'm just being overcautious at the moment, but we'll make another spawning area exactly the same over there. So uh, let me do that and we'll come back again. So guys, I have finished the uh, the farm over there, as you can see. Um, I ended up, uh, I built the other half of it, and then thought I had my recording software on, and apparently I didn't. So, um, but yeah, all I've done really is duplicated the other side that I did, uh, got the water going, and built the platform. So we'll go over there in a second and have a look at that, but I thought I'd just get rid of this tree and uh, these trees up here whilst I was over here and I've not seen if it's working yet so when we go over there it will be the first time um, yeah to see whether it actually works or not so we're over 24 blocks now and less than 34 so I think that's the um, the, the key to it because after 34 blocks they will spawn but they don't move um, whereas when they're 24 to 34 blocks I believe they do uh, they do move around and hopefully they'll be falling off and they'll be going to my little collection area where I can then kill them and get their goodies and I'm hoping hoping for quite a few uh, decent goodies of zombies can't really give me too much at the moment uh, skellies can and occasionally well witches can as well because we can get a few different things from witches um, but we do need to build a better farm because we got to get endermen later on and that as well. So, um, yeah, which is a bit of a bit more of a pain. So we've got to build something a little bit more efficient than uh, we've got there. So uh, let's uh, just chop these down as we've got. We don't really need the uh, all these extra drops. Um, it's strange, isn't it, how uh, within a few episodes we've gone from starving to having plenty of... Uh, Food. We've got apples now, and you know when you come round here every time, and we get, you know, now I've got 23 of those. Uh, yeah, so it's good when you can get the farms up and running, and you've got time to do all those sort of things. So uh, that's good. Uh, and you can see, I love these big trees um, because they do drop a lot of apples. They're uh, they're the one thing that drops a lot of apples. If you ever play UHC? Chop down the big trees. Um, they're the ones to get because they do drop probably, you know, maybe four apples each time. Um, we've picked up five there. I had none in my inventory, so we've picked up five apples from that big tree. So, yeah, there's my pro tip of the day if you're playing in the UHCs and things like that. Um, maybe not much, so much for speed UHC, but, uh, yeah. Um, and we didn't get anything from that one. I think it was possibly too close to the other oak tree to actually... Uh, it, the oak tree took over the... The leaves, I think. So we'll we'll see if we can get some happening from this one. If not, we'll go down the bottom and get them because we've got a million of them down there. And there goes my uh, wood axe. So um, not a lot we can do about that. So right, let's head down. Let's go and see if this mob farm is working together, shall we? 
I think that's a, a good idea. Um, I'm not going to die, and if I do, I've only got a bit of wood and that on me. So uh, I'll put these up, uh, make it a bit safer for me, and basically drop this down a little bit using the water. And I hear mobs. That's good. Um, oh, we must have two there. Look, can you see the shadows? That's using this um, Optifine. Um, I think. Yeah. Something dropped there. And I get an XP. Oh, Skelly. Let's see if we can get his bones. Yes! <gasps> Bone meal! So this is working okay, actually. For a mini mid farm. A mini... Mini mid farm. Mini uh, farm. And we could probably... He says dangerously. Uh, no, we can't get any more because of that. Um, we could if we dropped it down height-wise. I'm not going to do that, but um, yeah, let's put those back up. Always trying to think of ways to make it more efficient and all that kind of malarkey, but I think, you know, th the big farm we get, that's where we're going to uh, really sort of go some. So we've got some zombies in there which aren't necessarily so good. Um, we can't really see the mobs either, which is a bit of a pain, but um, we know they're there. Yeah, so there's another zombie. So we've had a few zombies. The same cast there. Oh, creeper. So, uh... Come on. It's a good thing about the fact they can't see me, though, you see. So they, they, they're not going to blow up. Do we get some, uh... No gunpowder. Not that we need gunpowder, but we've got bones for bone meal. And I'm sure there's, uh... There's an achievement for that. Um... That's probably all we've got for now. So it's going to be something we'll have to go backwards and forwards to do. But for right now, I'm going to make some bone meal. And I want to see if I can get some wheat. I need to see, before we end this episode here, can we get some wheat? Can we get a wheat farm going? So let's just... Oh, hello, pigman. I had one of these before as well. And um, they're quite vicious when they're... Uh, when you don't have the protection or anything like that. But what I ended up doing was actually pushing him round there blocking him in and then killing him and I did get a golden nugget so we're on our way for our gold and things but I'm not going to bother with him just yet he can hang around for a little bit um, of course the other thing that might happen is we might randomly get uh, we might randomly get uh, animals spawning up here and that would be quite nice if we do that so we might take some of this away and put more grass to give the opportunity um, for animals to to spawn up there but for now I want the grass so bones equals bone meal six bone meal way if we get some seeds bet we don't oh seeds good okay brilliant we got seeds um we've got a seed we've got two seeds that's good and we've got some poppies as well which is always nice because um once we get string and things like that, we need um, wool, and they're going to require us getting, um, yeah, basically that. So we've got two of those, so we need the die. Uh, let's pop those in there, and I think basically we will finish off. I never got my axe, did I? But what we will do is finish off the day by getting our hoe. Uh, might as well get myself an axe while I'm down here. The wood axe. Have I got one ready to go? I have. Got zombie flesh. Woohoo! Two seeds, some flowers. Don't think there's an achievement for flowers as such, but um, let's get those two seeds and my wooden hole. Don't need defenses really. Oh, we got an arrow as well. Well, hey, two arrows. No bow, but two arrows. It'd be nice to get a bow. We can shoot things from a distance then as well. Um, where am I going? Back at the top. We are going to hose some soil. And we're going to plant our first crops. So we want one, two. And we'll just help that grow a little bit faster by putting it in there. So, um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's quite good. And we managed to do quite a lot this episode, which is uh, really, really handy. Um, yeah, so uh, I think what we need to do now is is really I'm going to have to grind away, get some more, uh, go running backwards and forwards to there, get some more uh, bone meal, 
and grow that and I'm sure there's an achievement for or a, a target for bone meal see if we can get some spiders that would be nice um, yeah so started to come on uh, really well now really pleased uh, even after my death even after my uh, my death there we managed to uh, managed to come back from it so uh, yeah really pleased with that so maybe next time I mean you guys tell me what you think um, maybe next time we'll probably start working on a house do you think you think we we'll start doing that um, and then also the lake and then if we get some string we can go fishing the one of the most exciting things in this game yes I'm being sarcastic but actually fishing you know as boring as it might be in terms of sit there fishing, which I can do AFKing, especially if I create an AFK fishing farm, um, it's actually not too bad for for getting items. You can get some uh, get some good items. Hopefully, we might get some iron bars and things like that from the zombies. So we might get potatoes. Um, so the zombies here may actually be quite a good little thing. So let's see if we got any more guys in here. Oh, we got a spider in there somewhere. Let's hope we can get a string then as well. There's a skelly. Several skellies. That's good. Okay, it's a bit tedious, it's a bit boring, but um, yeah. Oh, and a bow. We got a bow. Don't know what I'm going to use a bow for yet, but we got a bow. I think we do have to craft one though for the challenges, and I think that's a... Yeah, so I, I'm quite happy with this little mob farm. I think, you know, as a starter mob farm, it gets us an achievement as well. We'll have to get a sign for it, because um, there is an achievement of... Uh, there goes that guy, no thing drops there. Yeah, so th there is an achievement of um, building a, a platform 24 blocks away for mobs to spawn on. And I think you can safely say we've done that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty good. More creepers. Not had any gunpowder yet. Oh, got some gunpowder as we speak. Got some gunpowder and XP. Pretty good. Pretty good. Another spider in there somewhere. Come down to me, spider. This is the only problem with spiders is they do um, they climb. Um, so we might not get them so easy. But what did we get from that? So we got a bow. We got some more bow meal. That's pretty good. We got a bow. So I'm going to stick that on my... Um, thing there. I doubt I'm ever going to need it, um, but I'm going to have it there anyway because at the end of the day, if I suddenly spot something over there that shouldn't have spawned and it has, then yeah, I can at least uh, kill it, can't I? I like to have it on my inventory, especially as I've got uh, got the space there for it. So uh, yeah. Is that where he landed? Yeah. He's still in there, that spider. You need to come down a little bit, mate. That's what you need to do. So what we what we probably need to do is um, in the main one we'll have this where they come to an edge properly and then they drop down onto a platform and just die. I think um, we're not going to have a killing chamber like this, but this one's handy for XP. So um, yeah, might be something we just uh, keep handy for that for now. Light it up uh, if we can get some glowstone and um, redstone from witches occasionally. Then uh, put some lights in there. And things like that so uh yeah pretty handy with that so uh there we go guys i think that's our uh nice little uh mob farm sorted for now it's only a, a little one to get a few of the looks but um we can get the rest anyway because we've we're going to build a much more efficient one as time goes by so uh i think we'll call it a day there uh just about run out of time but uh thanks for watching let me know what you think we should be doing next should we be building the uh the house or a lake um yeah, let me know, and we'll see you here next time on Skyblock. My name is Wild Trekker, and thanks for watching. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. Bye.